What's up guys, it's Young Men's Daily Red Pill, back with another upload. I appreciate the support you've been getting on this channel, building this community with fellow young men that have decided to take the red pill and go their own way and truly unlock their potential of being the greatest version of themselves. If you want to support young men going their own way and you want to support what I'm doing on this channel, please be sure to drop a like, comment something, and subscribe because that engagement helps the algorithm push out my videos and to reach a wider audience of young men so they can find this knowledge before it's too late. Today's going to be a very important topic. It's going to discuss, I'm going to discuss with you guys why if she's on Snapchat, and honestly, this can apply to any social media, but if she's on Snapchat in particular, you need to get rid of her and why she has guys on her Snapchat in the first place. The reason your girl has Snapchat, the honest to God reason, is because she's viewing other men's stories, sending them things that can't be saved, and practicing open hypergamy on your ass, all right? Now, what do I mean by all these things? Well, she's practicing open hypergamy by having a Snapchat in the first place. She's able to view stories of other men possibly one of two ways. She's either dealt with these men in the past or she's going to deal with them in the future or she's currently dealing with them. So I guess that's three ways, all right? Now I've had this happen to me in the past before where I have a girl Snapchat after maybe hooking up with her, pump and dump type of situation, but either way I was in the guts. So we have that type of, I had that imprint on her life, all right? And what is it, like maybe a year or a couple months later, she has a boyfriend, right? She has a boyfriend, but guess what? You're still on her Snapchat, and she still views your stories, and she still maybe sometimes even messages you. Why is that? Or maybe she doesn't message you at all, why is that? Because she's practicing open hypergamy, and she's always watching what you're doing, and trying to keep up with whatever you're doing. Because if her current situation with the guy that she's dealing with isn't working out, and you sexually imprinted this woman, you have the ability, and she has the ability, and she wants to, she's, she truly desires to come back to the alpha. What she's practicing is something we talk about in the Red Pill MGTOW community, and that's monkey branching, right? So she has her boyfriend, the nice guy that has no idea, the blue pill beta sim mangina motherfucker that has no idea what's going on, right? So she has right now one arm on his branch like this and she's swinging back and forth and she has her Snapchat in her hand like this, right? And there's another branch over there of the guy that she used to deal with or the guy that she's interested in. She's still swinging on this branch but you, you're damn right, she's looking at that other branch over there and she's eventually gonna fucking reach for it and grab it. She's just waiting to see what you're doing about it on the other side. She's waiting, to see, she's watching your lifestyle. What the fuck are you doing in your life? Is your life more entertaining? Is your life of more value? Do you have potential as a man? Women are all about potential, emotions, and how they feel in the current situation. This guy could be a nice guy. I've been in both situations. This guy right here, the boyfriend, the current boyfriend, could be doing everything right. He could be buying her rings, uh, necklaces, taking her out to dinners, buying her anything she wants, being a total simp mangina, and catering to all of her needs, every single last one of them. But eventually, at what cost, you lower yourself as a man by doing these things. Because you essentially are saying, my value as a man is only is not is not enough. My value as a man isn't enough. My value only comes through materialistic things, such as the, the rings and all the things I just mentioned. That doesn't matter. You spending money on her doesn't matter. Your presence alone as a man is what matters. And there's this guy over here, this Chad Tyrone type of guy that she's thinking about monkey branching to, and he doesn't offer anything. He's focused on himself, his purpose, getting in the guts. <laughs> Yeah, if he has your, listen, listen. Any guy that has your girlfriend on Snapchat, and this is gonna be some real, this is some real fucking truth right here. He wants to either fuck your girlfriend right now, or he or he has, because I've been in the situation. I still have girls on my Snapchat I've messed with, and they, they've messed with me, and they view my stories still. And I'm like, man, that, that's crazy. And this boyfriend, this simp mangina will never know. He'll never know. 
Real talk, real talk, he'll never know. So she's either dealing with this guy, she wants to fuck him, or she doesn't want, or she, or she's planning on fucking him, or she already is fucking him. Those three are the reasons why she has this guy on Snapchat. Don't let your woman in general have any social media at all. I, I, I don't know why you guys would allow this. I used to allow it as well, so I guess I can't really say that I'm, I'm completely like, removed from the situation of allow, allowing the, a woman I've dealt with to have social media because guys, she will use the excuse, what's wrong with having social media? Every Everyone has a social media, you're not normal. Why does Jessica's boyfriend let her have social media and then I can't have social media? You know, they're just gonna, they're never going to admit to the truth of why she has social media, especially Snapchat where things can be easily unsaved, sent and unsaved, and they got rid of the best friends list like a, a year after Snapchat came out a, a while back. And you know why that was too? It's because the best friends list for a lot of these girls that had boyfriends, they were usually guys that they were fucking on the side or guys that they were interested in. And the boyfriends would see this and if they checked their phone, they would get mad and angry and upset. And it's just like, the whole time, like even I thought this, like that male best friend on Snapchat, right? You're like, that she's saying is just her friend from school, maybe from work. It's not really her friend. He wants to fuck, he's a guy, he has a dick. Why are we living in some black, like why are we living in some black ages where we don't think that that's possible? Like why are we, why are we so blind into the fact that it's possible that she wants to fuck this guy and it's extremely possible. In fact, it's 100% the case that if he has her on Snapchat, he wants to fuck her. There is no such thing as a male best friend, all right? There is no such thing as males just messaging your girl or males just popping up. She doesn't just, he doesn't just pop up in her phone. That doesn't, that doesn't happen, all right? She was either virtue signaling or showing some type of interest in this guy sexually. Yes, sexually. She was she was flirting with this guy or, you know, there's just so many different reasons why you should never allow your woman to have a Snapchat. And guys, if you do have a woman that has a Snapchat, you're dealing with someone that has a Snapchat, please just cut her off, please guys. It's only gonna bring heartache and pain for you. And I would, don't want you guys to even be dating in the first place. I think if you do date, it should be uh, short-term relationships, um, pump and dump type of situations. Uh, I, I do believe in taking a woman's soul, as Steph is cold would say though, uh, because I have done that in the past. And it's great to take a woman's soul because you can always return to her. It's just like literally leaving a key inside of a door in different neighborhoods and you can just go into that house whenever you want and do your thing. But guys, if this is your situation, be smart about it. Don't let her have Snapchat. Don't let her have social media, especially if you're serious about this woman or you want a short-term relationship. I mean, if you want a long-term relationship, uh, short term relationship, I don't really give a fuck because it's just my turn and in general it's just your turn in any of these relationship scenarios. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you have done this in the past, you've had similar situations, maybe it's not on Snapchat but in other social media avenues.